no, I'm seriously, have you guys, has this happened to you guys? Somebody must have hacked some, I don't know, or tried to process some sort of loan in my we name. We used you to get a second mortgage. Oh, that's right. No biggie. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You guys are ass. No, listen, it's happened to the whole family. So apparently, look, spam calls are already. Wait a minute, are you serious? We're, we're actually dead. No, my no, phone's no, been. No, no, no. no, we are. No, no, no Matt, you know what? Not, that might be what true. it is. No, no, time out. Time out. It's true. He doesn't. We. Know what we I, I get it. I have. A, we, he doesn't know. What he's I don't. Doing what, it's he? my home improvement loan. What are you talking about? No. I know exactly what's going on. What happened? That's what it is. I'll tell you. Okay. okay. Tell me. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know. Explain what it is that you think happened. This has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Hold on! Stop it! It's it's glistening. Some of your gray locks are glistening. I like them. Leave them alone. Gray, I have a, huh? Look at look at my. I got gray in my hair. You guys too. are both gray. You know I have a single. I, I got a white got, beard. We know where you got gray, bro. Hey, we know where. It's hey, that's all not gray. that's not true. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you say you, you know, you say, What's that stuff you buy? Like they the call men's, you uh, the beard just stuff. Just just for men. For, they they yeah. call you they call you uh, <laughs> on the streets. Matt's known as Gandalf the Gray. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not. No, but it's it's really powerful. interesting because powerful. my beard is going completely white. Gasper, but nothing in my hair. Nothing. People always ask me, "Do you dye your hair?" I'm like, "No, I don't dye my hair." You're lucky. Probably you do dye do your eyebrows though. No, I don't. I don't have anything about armpit hair. He dyes his armpit. Look at look at just for men like oil slick. Look at them. Look at it. <laughs> Dark black. <laughs> like a baby seal. Yeah. Uh, so wait a minute. So you're telling me that these... That these okay. So let me tell you what happened. We're yes. calling inquiring about I, these recent I normally I normally get a lot of spam. It's ridiculous. I actually got this thing called Trap Call. Okay. Trap Call. It's really great. Nice. I love Trap Call. The problem is, is that I was getting no calls. None. Right. <laughs> everything was getting thrown away. So I was losing business opportunities. Oh I was losing God. everything. It was really bad. NBC's not legitimate. Fox but is not legitimate. What has happened recently that has taken it from like the normal two or three a day to like 50 a day yeah. is yes, Andy and I did a little home improvement loan. Oh, okay. Now the problem with that is because all of a sudden mom comes home. What's going on? Somebody has attached my my credit. Uh, it's bad. It's bad, Matt. And I'm like, no, mom. No, you're all They're right. They're just right. going through the list of everybody that's so, associated with it. Right? Online, right, right. if you go and you type in the right. home, the house address, right. it pulls up me. Andy, then mom, then dad, then you. Ah, oh, thank God. And it, brrr, so you guys hacked me. So they're okay. reaching out to but, everybody on in, in our family. Dad's but, getting it. I was about ready Why? to lose. Mom's yeah. getting it. I was it. about ready to lose my stuff. Because they think that maybe they can try to pre-sell us before we right. buy and get the actual loan right. that we're doing. They're trying you to get You can't. Them. You can't. Hello. Yeah. I just go, hey, scam, likely? Yes. You know what I mean? It's scam like we had somebody on know? set. Oh, were you there? Somebody answered. I was on every a, set. They, this this lady answered her spam call as a stripper. I wanted to know if they wanted to have. Some was weird, it me? I wouldn't have done that. Some weird like. Oh, on was on no. The set. She said sex on wheels. It was so roomy. Sex on wheels, and yeah. they hung up. And I was no. like, oh. you spam the spam. Wow, that's the way to do it. That's what do. Double that's the spammer. Way to do it. That's Double the way to do it. Spamming. Yes. So anyway, that. Okay. Wow. Well, it's interesting. Here's the deal. You know what? Have you ever had real spam? You can't trust anybody. Like the meat? That's what it is. It's true. You cannot trust anybody. You cannot trust anybody these days. That's right. Well, we can trust somebody. Right e each here. other. Right here. The circle of trust. For the most part. The circle of trust. For the most part. The circle of trust. The I agree. Brotherly love trust. I can trust my brothers, except Joe sometimes with certain facts. What do you talk? Facts. Joe likes to make everything. Particularly prices of clothing items. It's true. Joe will I say, try to make them more. It's like 150 bucks for, for an Joe, example. This is 400 dollars. It's for 150 the, bucks for the holidays. For the holidays, we'll be talking, and of course, Joe already reaches out first. Like, pretty much by the beginning of October, Joe's like, "Hey, so have you thought of anything to get me for Christmas?" I have not said that. I said, "Do you have any ideas for me to get you for Christmas?" No. Yeah, but that's but that's but that's the segue. oh, that's the prerequisite. That's, that's the, hey, so you, what do you need for Christmas? Because I need. Because here's my list. I'm backdooring <laughs> my way into a request, and we but come I up we come up with an amount. Right, usually we do. And then Joe's like, yeah, I got something. It's it's around that range. No big deal. And you get it and it's, it's twice the range or yeah. triple the range. You're a very generous person. A if he says you person. should go get a car and he says this car is about this price, tack on another 10 grand. I Double just, it. Look, I want to get you in the door. All, all the story. the door. All Double Joe it. paints the, the rosy picture, That's the right. rosy side of the story. Glass half full, baby. Always. <laughs> there, believe me, there is a lot of strong positives to yeah. that. Yeah. Well, but if you yeah. need the exact figure, like, like, but if you expect to spend five grand, you're, you're actually spending fifteen. Yeah. You're not going to get it here. Exact amount. If you want exact dollar amounts, I'm not your guy. <laughs> trust is a big thing, though. It is a big thing. It is a big. Thing. I mean, I can, I can trust realize, that I won't get the exact dollar amount. You That's really, true. you really. I'll tell you what. You realize the older you get to, how few people you can actually trust. I know. And this bill of goods that like your friends are like family, and your family are like friends, and. 
man. I mean, if you can, I find, have friends I can trust. Can, if you can find a, no, I'm just saying, it, it goes both ways. People automatically think you can, you can trust family, and people automatically think you can trust friends. I would never trust family. <laughs> Hell no, anyway. no. Um, but it, it's it's to find that core group. By the way, a very select few that you can actually trust is literally priceless. Yeah. Literally priceless. Yeah, just finding one. I know. Honestly, just one person that you can actually trust, and it's not just. Do you trust? trust do you too. trust yourself? Ooh, that's the biggest. Actually, problem. I don't. I don't trust. That's me. the key. Actually, I don't right trust there. me at all. And he just nailed the the, the, the the key to the whole thing. Wow! If you can trust not yourself, not gonna be much left to talk about. And then. this is another one too. <laughs> it's another one. Let's get hungry. Let's get a sandwich. <laughs> your word. Do you trust that you're hungry? Your word means everything. Your word is your bond, right? Your word means everything, and it's it not because you're letting down other people. It's because <laughs> when you don't hold true to your word, when you tell lies or when you do things like that, it's not that you're hurting other people. Yeah. It's actually that you're slowly chipping away at your own self-esteem. You're right. You're right. And your own actual confidence and these things that you need and that you actually want. And it's it's a weird hamster wheel well, because you're going around in circles chasing this, well, I want to paint a better picture or I don't want to tell the 100% the truth because right. I want a, I don't, I'm afraid of conflict. I want a good outcome. The problem is, is that the more you do it, the worse the outcome the more conflict you have. Tell me this. Do you find this though? And, and isn't there some validity to the fact that um, how interesting is it when you're in a relationship, whether it's with a friend or in a romantic relationship or something, that there's a conditioning that goes on where sometimes there's not an environment where y you don't feel safe just coming right at it or they don't, they don't take that advice or they don't take that number or they don't take that thing you say well. And then what starts to happen? You go into it with the best of intentions. I'm going to be... I'm going to say 100% what's on my mind. I'm going to be 100% forthright. I'm, not that you're like being shady, but just in terms of how you say something. Yep. If they don't receive it well, then all of a sudden you start to think. And that starts to what? That starts to cut down on just the, the honesty of the moment because yeah. you're you're almost tailor-making it. Yeah. And that's conditioned sometimes. I've, I found that because, you know, you just, you feel like even in a working environment, you want to come right at, look, I can be honest with you guys. This scene is terrible. You know, but this if, sucks. Yeah, this script sucks. <laughs> Something smells in here. What you guys smell that? It's it's crap. I smell like it's it's the script. <laughs> uh no, but uh, you know, and 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 if they don't take it well, yeah. then all of a sudden the next time, well, you might not do it that way. And now you're not being as honest with yourself. So you can't you're not you know what I mean? And it now and if they find out that you're fudging it, then they don't trust you and you don't trust them. But it actually started with the best of intentions. It was actually to just not and this is, break it to them so tough. This you know, is a slippery slope that people who are people pleasers, yep. who try to be nice, lack, We're all don't like uh, confrontation. This is the slippery slope you get. I don't love confrontation. I'm, I'm not a people pleaser. What are you talking about? Guys, yeah, you are. this Everybody is the slippery you. slope that we get on. <laughs> you guys listening? Yeah. This is very, I'm going I'm Go to drop some pearls on you here. Wow. Hopefully I'm not dropping them in front of swine. Yeah, it's it's casting across the swine. <laughs> not dropping them, but it's okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but here's the thing, and, and I just what learned this expression: I, casting pearls. Don't to cast your pearls oh, no, to swine. That's a, that's a great one of my favorite. It is one problems. of my favorite. What's actually the origination of that? Well, because you've been wanting that. I know that. But you've been wanting actually, a pearl necklace, so he's wondering who can cast you know him one of those. From? You know what the the actual principle There's a whole behind thing going on here, guys. Okay, so here's what is behind pearl it. necklace. You know what it comes from? I mean, really, we're gonna here's, do that today. I have the dirty mind. Uh, we're gonna do that today. You come on, it's from the I didn't Bible, even go Joe. There. You guys just, you guys are you just so gross. from the Bible. I know what you're doing. You, you know just, what? I don't trust you guys anymore. You just tarnished no, the sanctity. No, of so you many tarnished things. my mind with those horrible references. Anyway, what really you know it means it comes is from Joe. what really it means is is that if you have a good idea, and this there's another thing that's been going around social media right now that I actually like when they said. You don't tell your ideas to everybody, not because they don't love you, not because they don't this, but because people they'll steal them. No, because people tend to ruin things. Yeah, and do. if you've got a good idea, it's impossible right. for you to expect that the other person you're telling you can see it. You're the only one that can see it. That's so right. if they shoot it down, the chances are you're going to have doubt in your mind. So right. that idea might go away. So right. you're actually not supposed to let people ruin things. But the real point behind it all is when it comes to the- Just don't catch your pearls to swine. The pearls to swine. Yes. Really what's behind that is that is that if you've got an idea and you see it, mm -hmm. it's not that they're necessarily, they're not that they're like bad, but the reason why they're considered swine is because they're not inside your head. Right. They're not seeing the image that you see. So right. if you cast this idea, you're expecting the impossible. You're expecting them, them to, to see it, it the way you see it. And if they don't receive it the way you see it, it's never gonna work. It tarnishes your sight. 
And then you can't follow. And then through you can't the follow through with the vision. That's what really it means. Okay, we've done our job here today, fellas. But going so back on another, what, what if you add the word "flu" to the end of the phrase? Ooh. What? Don't cast your pearls to swine. Flu. flu. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a good one. End. Don't cast. Your hold pearls on. Hold to on a minute. Hold flu. on. Let's just think about that for a minute. Crickets. Yeah. Crickets. No, but Anyone? you know, going back to the whole trust thing and that to the thing, audience. Yeah, <laughs> I, it, it goes back to the same thing that Jordan Peterson said, and this is what I Peterson, I, why I, Judge Peterson, the reason why I, I Rudy, I, I, the guy, the guy, I don't care feeling. what anybody says, and I can't believe he was actually banned from social media. The guy's got a lot of incredible things to say. It's gone all over social media, and this is not something that no nobody's heard. But you it is thinking of that George Peterson, <laughs> the being the Peterson, nice guy, Peterson. the being the nice guy, Give you the driving, the, the you know, no conflict, the disease to please, all that stuff wrapped into a guy. Yeah, you want to be. I always grew up going. I want to be the nice guy. I want to be I the know. good guy because that's guy. Actually, and I've experienced this personally in my yeah. life. Actually, that good guy, that is the bad guy because a guy that is afraid of conflict right. and is just trying to be good and trying to walk meekly through, he's you know what's gonna happen? He's gonna get caught into that pattern we were just talking about. Yep. You're gonna start to lie. Right. You're gonna start to not be authentic, 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 authentic self, right. with what you're saying right. and what you're doing. Right. And slowly but surely, you get on that slippery slope. You know what it is better to what be? What is this transformation? Uh, it's better to be a warrior in a garden right. than it is a gardener in a war. Because a warrior can learn to harness that stop being an asshole. This is this is good stuff. He's making a good point. You're over here having a, a laugh at <laughs> a warrior knows how to harness the bad. You're right. And You're right. can be good You're right. in every situation. Oh, right. But a guy uh -huh. who's got no warrior instinct at all, right. then you put him out in the war and he's he gonna fail. Right, he's gonna fail. You're right. A Viking guy walking through a garden. <laughs> A flower. Oh, like, and then you know what happens to that guy? He starts to grow long nails. Oh, Doyle rules! Back hair. Oh, Doyle rules. A lot of back hair. And he's got these cute... What? Back hair? <laughs> and spikes! All right, Matt, this is, you're making it up. It's documented! I read it! Don't, I can't wait, get so... this warrior out of a garden no, image you're such a head. weirdo. It's That's so good. Funny. Let <laughs> that just rotate in your head for the next weekend. But you know what? Viking Until you... fucking... Until you, get, until you get the, the, the idea. Sowing a garden. <laughs> he just doesn't get it. <laughs> and somehow, later tonight, Andy's going to wake up and go, oh, no. Somehow, I get it. the good guy is the villain. <laughs> yes. The good guy becomes a villain. You want to be a villain who's got that under control. A good villain. A good I've villain. always been the villain. You want to be a good villain. Andy. Not a bad uh, guy. You want to be a good villain. You know what I never Ooh. realized? Nice. Andy's giant eyeballs can push out some giant cry tears. He can do it on on oh on, on cue too. Andy will just look at you. He go, "You want some tears?" Again, and Andy he just cry. starts crocodile. Has anybody tears. seen uh, Wednesday no, on Netflix? Wednesday. I haven't seen, but I hear it's incredible. I will say, it's amazing. I, my daughter, but I, there's, a loves it. There's, my there's a monster. My daughter loves it. There's a monster. I would make a good Tim Burton character. There's a monster in the jungle. That, in, not in the jungle. In the forest, like by the school. There's a monster in the jungle. When you get to it, jungle, episode three. When you get to it, yeah. You're going to see the monster when you yeah. look at the monster's eyes. <laughs> really? You're going to see Andy's eyeballs. <laughs> oh. Giant monster eyeballs. Andy's oh. got. Ah. And he's in a garden. Yep. I was just about to say the warrior garden. The warrior yep. garden. No, you're so right. Funny. You're right. You're Jesus. right. You're right, though. That's. Uh... Look, I spent a lot of time in my life trying to be the good guy and realizing that now you're the bad all guy. short and all of a sudden become the bad How guy. How have you right. the villain? And so, you know, I realized. You know what? You're right. Woo! You put on your that. armor. You actually become fierce as hell, yeah. but you learn how to control that and harness it. You so that you destroy everything in your path. No, you so go they go to a garden <laughs> and you sit there. You set it ablaze. Maybe, maybe there's some sand and you rake it. And you watch you the garden. You little patterns. You set the garden on little, fire. You, what? You, you please chaos with patterns. <laughs> Picking flowers, <laughs> blooms. You set the garden on fire. Yeah, right, then you right. sit in this scorched garden with nothing growing. <laughs> <laughs> Pyro <laughs> warriors ruined the fucking whole garden. There's no garden left, Matt. That's the, That's the point. There are no room for gardens. Guy, but now he's a bad guy. And he burned the garden down. <laughs> it's almost Schwarzenegger. It's almost Schwarzenegger, <laughs> Matt, it's almost Schwarzenegger telling crying. that story. Do it. So much worse than telling this story. And you went into the garden. <laughs> yeah. And then they became the good garden. And then they. <laughs> oh my God. I set fire to the garden. And it is scorched it. Oh. It was super fantastic. What? Scorched earth. <laughs> what? It's here. It's burning in front of you right now. The warrior garden. Damn it. It's on fire. Go. Oh my God. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Well.
Oh, I think God. I think it's really did. it's been a pleasure being a warrior in a garden with all of you. Yeah, it's we need been a, a good we need, garden. You know what we need? We it need was a good garden. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need to get Jordan Peterson. Oh no! Oh, I want to talk to him so oh, bad. God. He'd be Matt, so Matt, bad. Matt, hold on, Matt, Elon Musk, and Jordan Peterson. And you know what? For the hell of it, the whole crew back together. Throw in man. Kanye and throw in Kanye and, but, with but, it and put them all in the garden. Put them all in the garden. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're taking it too far. Too far. Too far. Too far with that one. Too far. Too far. I love Kanye, but he needs. He, he needs to get himself together. Too far, too far. Too he needs far. to figure it out. I, I do love him. Funny. I do love him, but man, he needs, he needs to get himself together. I love everybody. Together. No, I that, love everybody. That's I'm what a good saying. guy. That's what he was saying. He said he loves everybody. I love everyone. I'm so good. <laughs> I have no authentic <laughs> self left. And yeah. I lie to me. I cannot trust me at all, but I'm good. I'm so good. <laughs> uh, okay. I spent my life trying to be a good guy. I'm a total wimp. I got nothing left. <laughs> See? Yeah, I know. What do you want? Okay. Okay, here you go. Find here you yourself go. a good here garden. Here you go. Yeah, it's just a choice. It's the same thing as like, you know, I mean, try getting the, the, the you know, okay, the bill for success, we'll try getting the uh, the check for regret. Yeah, you know what? You're right. It's hard either That's way good. is my point. That's really good. It's a struggle. It's a fight either way. You're either going to fight and you're going to become strong and choose to be good or you can focus on trying to be good and basically you become pretty darn weak because where does that freaking get you all the time? I want to get a check to get the hell out of here. What the heck is going uh, on? I was just saying. <laughs> check. Thanks. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna take that food to go. We're gonna take that food to go. Oh, I got I got a garden to, 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 to weed in about fifteen minutes. So I gotta <laughs> garden get that to check. weed. Are we gonna um, eat while we do this? Do we're gonna go. We do we're gonna go pick our food from the garden. Yeah, great. Hey, that's a great farm to table. And then set it ablaze. Mm. <laughs> Kidding, no. no, you're like you like tenderizing the meat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that little wild boar in our garden. Ah! <laughs> yes! It's a bunny rabbit. Like Lord of the Flies. <laughs> it just got insane. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's why, kids. Uh, it's, okay, uh, Andy, uh, we need to talk. Joe took this a little too seriously. Did you kill the animal in the garden? Uh, <laughs> it was your daughter's pet? We're going to uh, we're gonna grab the boar and knock it over the head with a hammer. What? Oh, yeah, God. Throw it in a jacket. Remember I just that? love this, this fish-out-of-water warrior that's like it's good. ruining everybody's yeah, sanctuary. he's honest with himself. Though. He's very honest. He's very and he, and he can trust himself, and that's the most important that was, thing. That was a good laugh. That was good. the most important thing. That was a very good laugh. It was a really good laugh. I don't know if anybody else enjoyed it, but we oh had a blast god, <laughs> a blast at the Burley Love Podcast, <laughs> coming to you live every week. Um, thanks. I, now that advertisement, I don't think nothing happens from that because that was an in-house. Look, they have Bailey's here, and rosé, and brandy, but I've never had a Tiffany. These are people we're talking to. Oh, this is that's not the, not the drink, not the drink menu. menu. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I'll take a rosé. It's rose. Oh! <laughs> I was I'll thinking of Bailey's, please. Yep. I never heard of a Rob. I'll have a Bailey's, please. Uh, but that was a good one. Yeah, Rob. Yeah. I'll take two Robs. Um... So what else? You were uh, you were you were uh, talking about the Eagles earlier. Yes. I'm excited about that. They're doing so good. Yeah. Those guys are a bunch of warriors. They are. Round those guys up. And They're not good guys. Put them in a garden. They're not good guys. They're all warriors. No, I know. You're right. No, I know what you're saying. I'm being flippant, but I, I totally understand what you're saying. And you know what? It actually makes a lot of sense because if you lose yourself in an effort to try to always make everybody feel better and you try to keep the peace, that's my mm -hmm. problem. I, I try to keep the peace with everybody in my life. Yeah. And it's I'm running around like a gerbil with my head cut off. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, being, I'm, being, I'm being honest with you. Yeah. I I'm always trying to put out small fires, you mm -hmm. know, and it's very difficult. It's very and it takes a, a massive toll on me. Yeah. Well, I found out that that was the reason why I was getting kind of so the worst. Why I was getting so um, off course yeah. when it comes to relationships and things is that I wound up getting involved with people that I was trying to please, trying to make happy. It really didn't come down to, was this a good union? Are we making each other happy? Are, is right. there trust? Right. Is there bonds? Right. Are there good things here? No, it was like, boy, I, I'm just gonna, if I'm gonna do anything right, I'm gonna make sure that this person is just so darn happy with me. Yeah. And it never works. Never it works. Never freaking works. works. People have to be happy on their own. And you have to be happy. You cannot your, make somebody else. happy. You cannot make somebody else happy. That you, I, I'm convinced of that. No, nope. you definitely can't. And 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 honestly, you have to trust that they're happy on their own, and they have to trust you're happy on your own because then together you can be really happy. If you take two happy people, they can be really happy. Now there aren't problems because always always come up, but but you can be happy. Whereas it's like it's a choice because your misery is not like 
if you don't know how to find happiness on on your own, then Look, it's easy to blame somebody for making you miserable. The That's my point. Psychology says this. The Bible says this. And that is, there is no excuse when you're in a bad mood to put that bad mood on anybody else. Right. There is never an excuse know, or a reason for and it. And we're all guilty of it at times. We're all guilty no of it. no reason for but it. But you should, th things that I wish they would teach at school, they would give kids the, the five minute rule. You've got five minutes yep. to be in that mood and figure it out what it is that caused it and change it, yep. period. Five minutes, man, that's all you get. I don't care how dark, how serious, then you I put mean. it, then you put it to rest right. and you, you open that box up on your own and you get to the bottom of it before you bring anybody else into a relationship with you. That's <clears> the key because you know what? No relationship works. Love is amazing, but love doesn't do it on its own. You can love someone to death and you can be in a toxic relationship and it can spiral out of control and it can ruin both your lives. Of course. What works? <clears throat> trust and respect. Those two have to be the two pillars that come first. Love yeah. goes on top of that, man. Right. You gotta have respect and trust. If you can't give that to somebody, I don't know how. You cannot bring them it's into the your lives in a relationship. Philadelphia cream cheese on top of a nice everything bag. That's right. That's right. That's right. I love Philadelphia cream cheese. Got to put the Philly cheese everything on everything. Bag. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Gino's or true? Pat's? Gino's or Pat's? Nah, neither. Which one you like? Roman delights. The, the both. Yeah, I like Romans. I like you know. There's a couple other ones. The offbeat ah. ones, like the like the mom and pop stores. Those are the ones yeah. I like. The, the yeah. past and the things like they get very. They're becoming a little commercial. Well, they're very. And everybody's commercial. talking about but cheese like whiz. Them. Yeah, I why like, the whiz? I don't know. I like the provolone. Me too. I much so prefer the So if you're from cheese. Philly, you're probably gonna go provolone. But if you go there, it's for some reason it's. You want the whiz? whiz. Shit, what the heck? Whiz, yeah. Yeah. yeah not I, I don't know what's in the whiz. Like provolone. I know. I know. I know. Natural I know flavorings. Oh, don't even get me started flavor. on natural flavors. That's a whole Guys, podcast in itself. If you don't go to the grocery store and you find an organic product with you know eight ingredients and all the ingredients are amazing, but then it says natural flavors in there. Do you know what that really means? What is that? What, tell us, Matt. Okay. That's the FDA allowing any food company to put mm. any chemical derivative that could be taken from a natural derivative. They're all bad. It's all chemical preservatives. Mm. It's all chemical sweeteners. Mm. It's all the bad stuff that they can label as natural flavors. It's and ridiculous. you just put a hit out on yourself. Okay. So let's cut to the chase. <laughs> What's this that is, black man pulling is, up in front of the this studio? Is, it's the FDA. <laughs> no, a bag comes over yeah. and I get pulled off. This is your natural flavor. You're going to the garden. This is what? Good. No. <laughs> this is good advice. If you want to avoid natural flavoring when you go into a grocery store, only shop on the outward perimeter. Mm, that's true. Because that's all the natural stuff. Yeah. Anything inside is going to be processed. <clears throat> You're right. Yeah. You're right. And another thing, I wish they would start to label what it is, but diabetes too. Yeah. It's not a problem with your blood sugar. I mean, it is, but you know what it is? It's the, it's the disease of processed foods. Yeah. They tell you to take medication. They tell you to do this and that, except they don't tell you the one thing that you're supposed to do. Right. Stop eating processed <clears throat> foods. Yeah. That's yeah. where it comes from. We do process our foods a lot and it's not good. All the GMOs, all the things. Yeah. You go to Europe. I was just in Europe. I was eating pizza and bread. I've never felt better. I never gained a lick of weight. I come back here. Well, look at you. I come back here. No, I come back Son here. Bitch. Start eating the bread. I've got gluten intolerance. I'm bloated. I'm all a mess. I'm packing on the pounds. I'm like, wait a minute. What? Throwing a third nipple. What is going on yeah. here? What? That's genetic, though. What is going on? You know why? why? Well, because their grains are real grains. Ancient grain. Well, there is something to be said about that because our grandparents and our great grandparents, I mean, great grandmom, dude, she ate literal fat. I mean, literally like beef fat. She put salt butter, on everything. Butter's butter is not the problem. Butter on everything. Butter's not the but problem. Was, you know what it is? Yeah. All the substitute they're right. making, they tell you their health, their right. their the healthy right. version. Do you right. know what they're using? Body doesn't know that palm oil. Right. Palm doesn't know what to do. Palm with. oils are the worst oils for your body. First of all, they come from your palms. So that's not good. And that's where you excrete all your Why toxins Why the hell from? would you You're be wanting to make a little butter? All your toxins from your palms and your feet. And Andy's got very sweaty palms. He could make bins that's not true. of palm oil. And that we is, wouldn't want to put that in food. That no, he doesn't. Not no, he doesn't. It's not, it's not true. No, but you're right. So, but, oils. But, my, but, my, but my point is, terrible. I mean, Pop, what? Live, he ate meat, red meat every day, chicken, Have you real heard about stuff, the lion eggs. Diet? Well, oh, yeah, eggs. The lion By diet? By the way, eggs. Total protein you, diet. You know eggs? are actual living food, like their life in yeah. the in the eggs. They're one of the best things you can eat. And they got this bad rap for cholesterol. It's the cholesterol doesn't even affect your body. That stuff. No, look, we're not medical experts. So let's just put a dis- Eggs, a, they're this living, is, they're eggs. They're this life. Is not, <laughs> no, there's the, 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 the <laughs> genesis of nutritional- Did you know uh, that if you were to sit on that egg for like two weeks, it would hatch? 
I'm serious. Were, this is truth right here. Facts, guys. Facts. <laughs> what? You are such a dick. Wow. Oh, my you God. You can't even have a serious conversation with him. Oh, you see? No. Let me tell you something. In a few of these episodes, you're going to realize he's a little quieter at certain times. We can actually talk about things during those times. Yeah. When he's like this, no, he's... We, no, Bobby, you are dead on right about this. You can make a joke the all eggs. you want. No, it goes further than that. The yeah. eggs. Fruit. Yeah. The eggs. Even down to your water. Do you right. realize if you just drank distilled or Dasani, which is like steamed... Well, Dasani is owned by Coke. Yeah, I know. It's... Even <laughs> No, no. Even Coca Cola, the head, the president of Coca Cola, doesn't let his kids drink any of his products. I guys. think this desk is bought by Dasani, so we move the desk, please. They're Either just way, taking stuff. Dasani, and it's funny how now you Hard can't even go into an airport, yeah, and actually buy real water anymore. Right, it's all been bought out and owned by Dasani. No, Smart Hard water. Cut. Hard Cut. Now we're all drinking Dasani. <laughs> these, mm, <laughs> these are fake waters. Nothing like hydration. These aren't real waters. No, do you know you will slowly dehydrate to death if you just drank Dasani? Well, that's true, and I've read that in several reports. Yes, Guys, you know why this comes back? I think I'm we just got our next a, documentary. I'm tying this in a bow here. here I know what you're going to say, Dasani. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're got a good at. ring to it. Like you said, with eggs being alive. Fruit being alive, people don't realize it. Everything, We're alive. Everything Can works. You believe it. Everything works off of energy. Everything yes. works off of energy. When you're eating dead foods, processed dead foods, right. you you're die. not taking the energy out of <clears throat> the actual right. life force energy out of the food. When you're eating eggs, real fruits, real living things, including spring water, right? Real that body is actually absorbing the energy right. force that's coming right. out of that that's food. Right. By a You're warrior. Not getting it from dead processed food. In a garden. <laughs> You're right. You know what else? I, <laughs> the earth has everything we need. We're I just know. not, we're just not, we, we, we come up with these warrior gardens. synonyms for it and they're not, they're not good. They're actually harmful. No, they're very know? harmful. That's this why is almost like, there's 123 plants that chimpanzees use to solve all of their problems. Do you know that all a hundred and whatever it is of them yeah. are completely outlawed and have all these patents bought by the FDA and the, you can't even bring the plants into the United States or out of the or out of the jungle. You can't even touch them. You'll go to jail because you know why? why? They know it's better than Tylenol. Right. They know it's better than all their the, right. all their drugs that they can have can actually own because you can't own a natural patent. Yeah. That's where you make money. That's Bill Gates. He's a billionaire, uh, not because he's all that in, uh, in smart, because his first name's Bill. Yeah. No, it just was destined to be that way. Bills, lots of bills. Listen, he's got bills, but he can pay them. People are like, how did Bill Gates do this? And he's he lives like, behind lots of gates. He's like one of the smartest <laughs> guys in the world. Well, you know what he right. did? He yeah. bought all the patents. Did he? And then when he owned all the patents, he sold the fuel, bought all the farmland, bought all chip companies, bought all. He just is a great buyer. That's all he did. He's a great capital investor. That's it. He buys the patents. And what my point is, is if you can't own the patent or something, you can't make it into your trillion dollar market cap. So these natural plants, they're outlawed. They're illegal. You can't True. touch them. True. And it's ridiculous because yeah. you're right. The planet has everything we need everything to we solve need. all these problems. That's why the placebo pill effect. There is not a drug on the planet that they can prove works better than a sugar pill. Yeah. Any study anywhere all over the planet, cold, antibiotics, whatever yeah, yeah. the medication is, yeah. they give half them the real medication and give half of them a placebo pill. They equally get better. Not one person ever guts better or worse than the other. Yeah. It's yeah. all in here and yeah. it's all outwardly on our planet. Well, the earth gives us everything we need. You know, like we were talking about earlier, the last seven minutes of the day before the sun crests over the, before it sets, if you can look and let that sun hit your face and that those nutrients go into your eyes, because that's when you can actually look at the sun without it like burning your eyes, you'll get, 80% of the vitamins you need, the natural <laughs> I can't even talk. Staring into the sun, dude. <laughs> People, <laughs> yeah. no wonder you got vision problems. You can't see out of your ah, eyes. You're staring at the fucking sun every day. To you know what else they said? <laughs> There's is bloody. Crazy. Is, there, is, there, is there something to be said? Could I feel I, good. I was really. I feel much better. <laughs> Joe, are you out there? Oh, oh my God. I oh can't my take God. it. Staring into the sun, dude. I oh swear to God. God. Now, you don't stare into it, but ah, you let the light hit I'm getting your the eyes. vitamins. You let it's the coming. light hit I your feel eyes. great. Andy can make yeah. a joke, but why do you think babies have to be taken out or put underneath a UV light? Well, right. Vitamin exactly. D, bro? No, it's absorbed through your skin. You don't need to ruin your ocular vision. D, to, dude. The vitamin. No, no. Not just vitamin D. No, no, no. There's lots of vitamins in there. Tons. Okay. okay. Yes, tons. Tons. And let me tell you something. When you walk on the beach, yeah. the reason why you should walk 
because without, the sand without, without gives you a natural those? pedicure. No, because that's why. Because it's true. buffing those calluses, baby. It is. It is. You don't even need to go to nail salon. Let's go take a walk on the beach. Everything you need, the earth can provide. You see Joey's in the sand that. like this. He comes out with that. Buff. Incredible. <laughs> Shiny nails. Look at these buffers, huh? <laughs> Just went to the beach. Uh, no. Uh, the natural vibrations from earth actually go into, oh, yeah. once you put shoes on, it prevents the natural vibration from sort of evening out. It's so funny. Vibration therapy is I just real. watched, I just real. watched a, uh, a, uh, um, well, look at he, he come, he a Eastern medicine, <laughs> an Eastern medicine vibration guru. Vibration therapy is real. No, it is. I'll agree no, with an you Eastern medicine guy. Stumbled I'm upon something accurate. What are you doing? Why are you smelling yeah, your feet? Good. Um, what so, the hell are you doing? Okay, because you were just saying that, the soles of our shoes, right? Yeah, right. We want to listen to this guy. So in Eastern Stole medicine, feet. <laughs> in Eastern medicine, I was, I, there's this, there's this guru out there. It's pretty impressive you were to smell your feet. That's he can put it all. Hundred, hundred, hundred and fifty of these a day if you're wearing shoes, on both, on both your back and your front, because these are two triggers, like points for your whole entire body's health, and you're supposed to have that impact right. to trigger it. So right. if you're wearing shoes all day, you got to do this hundred fifty <clears throat> times here. Interesting. Hundred fifty times here a day, and he said you'd be surprised at the whole metaphysical change that can occur in your body just from the fact See? that we put on the vibrations shoes. from the earth need to go into our body. Yep. It balances everything. Why do you think of it like, I got my feet in the dirt, like that whole yeah. expression, like yeah. I'm in touch. There's actual real scientific backing Nothing behind is by all mistake. this. The design is almost perfect. It's right. just, we constantly thwart the design's efforts yep. by Four our- Four or five billion years yep. of, of adaptation and working together. We're not gonna beat that. Right. We're not gonna beat it. Right. Right. So it, yep. it's a shame that we've gotten so far off track. We're not going to beat it with a little Botox. No. <laughs> All right. I no, I smile sometimes. Like <laughs> <laughs> not going to beat that with Botox. Hey, Joe. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> sometimes you just have to trust. You know what I do is I just tell I just tell everybody you just when if you want to not age you just smile without any expression. You can do it. You can have Botox. Look at look at this. Hi, hey, how you doing, everybody? How are you? You're when you laugh, you just don't make any expression. He's smiling right now. I'm let's, smiling. Let's see, let's, now, Joe, let's see a sad face. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yep. Wow. Now, Joe, you're really angry. Wow. Wow. There it is. Now you're really happy. Elated. You're laughing Elated. crazy. <laughs> you just heard, <laughs> <laughs> you just heard the worst news. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, see? Brilliant. Brilliant. Perfect. Who needs Botox? It's true. It's true. And you know, it's funny. This brings up to a story that I've come across a bunch. I've even come across it. I think a you, quick one because we have to wrap. Okay, you see these young, you see these young males. Yeah. Ad break. Like <laughs> you hit about, you hit about 23, 24. I know you went through this. I went through this. Most guys I know go through this. Yeah. I'm sure girls go through this as well. Where it seems like society pushes this too. Where like you're a man now. You're not. You need to go out there and start your own family right. and kind of leave the family that you have. Yeah. Everybody that I meet. That did that in their early 20s. I talked to them in their 40s or something. They realized what an actual bad mistake that was. Yeah. If you don't have a family, right. yes, go out there, create your own family. Yeah. If you come from a strong family, use that as the foundation. It takes a community. It takes it a village. Use that as your foundation to bridge your family on top of that. Absolutely. Don't think you need to separate, cut off your family, unless it's about you know, setting up boundaries, because like I said, the family wasn't good. That's a different story, but if you got a good family, it's not about leaving your family to try to be a man or be a woman. No, you got to use these relationships. These are the only people on this planet you can trust. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm setting up some real boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be a whole bunch of boundaries on the next one. No, he just comes, there's oh a glass gosh. boundary between yeah. him and us. Oh my God, that's so funny. I don't trust you guys anymore. Um, all right, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yep, protocols, new protocols. Guys, this has been fun. Episode two. Another one in the bank. In Another the book. in the banks. In the books. All right. Listen, we will be back next week. Why are you always Same time. You? It's like, same it's place. Like a very physical, we'll be like, back, same time, it's like, same it's like place. behind the neck, too. Like, who holds somebody like Whatever you do. Baby brother. It's just like, you know, like in the Don't wild, touch like, your like, face. Ah. Don't touch his face if you're holding something. You might lose it in the future. I know. I know. Ah. Thank you for joining us today. If uh, you'd like to see some uh, bonus content, join us on our Patreon.